you're welcome so we are going to continue from where we stopped so in this video we are going to consider another method of solving first order first degree ordinary differential equation so the method we are going to focus now in this video is called homogeneous equation one thing about this method is that we call it homogeneous equation y equals to vx i will explain to you very well we use this method most especially when we notice that we cannot easily separate the variables in our function fx comma y then we now look for one more thing what is that thing if i should substitute my y equals to v of x inside the f x comma y would i been able to remove the independent variable x if i can do that then i will proceed that means that the method is good to use okay hello everyone you're welcome back we want to solve this problem and we are trying to use the third method called the method of homogeneous and what's so special about this method is that uh, we are going to assume y is equal to what vx and i explained to you i said when do we use this method we use this method when we can see clearly now that in our fx comma y we cannot separate the variables that's number one number two if we substitute this y v of x here then one of the variable will definitely disappear let's try it now this is my equation one then this is my equation number two then substitute equation two into equation one so this is what we will obtain by the time you substitute our y of x that you can see now the only thing i've just done is that i change this to be my y and i change this one to be my y then the next thing is for me to expand and i begin to see if it's possible for me to remove the independent variable x from here don't forget what I've said. I said there are two things we need to notice if you want to use this method. Number one, if you substitute, if we cannot separate the variables f x comma y here. Number two, by the time you substitute your view of x in f x comma y, then one or the independent variable will disappear. Now let's proceed and I expand. If you look at it now, you see now that I've expanded it. Then the thing you can see now is that uh, I can factorize x squared to come out of this then x squared we cancel this you will notice that this expression is the same thing as one plus v squared then over v can you now see now that there's no x here again that is when we can use this method what is next thing now is that let me call this one my equation three then i need to go back to my equal uh, my equation two from my equation two i need to find the y dx from equation two in equation two i can say the y dx is equal to you keep my v then you differentiate the other variable then plus um, you keep the second variable then you differentiate the first so we have this expression so what is the next thing now is that you notice that if we differentiate this one this one will give you what we give you one so definitely we can see clearly that so we cannot see this what is the next thing we are going to do now is that um, we call this one our equation four then we can now equate equation three to equation four. you notice that here we have the y dx here here we have the y dx so we can equate the two together by the time we equate the two together then we rearrange so this is what you have now what is the next thing i will do now is that um, i will make the v the x to come here then i will have one plus v squared over v then minus v over one what is the next thing I will use LCM. What is XM of V and 1? We have V. Then V divided by V will give me 1. Then we have 1 plus V squared. Then I'll have minus N. Then V divided by 1 will give you V. V times V will give me what? V squared. Are we together now? If you look at this very, you notice that term, this one we cancel this one. So this is the same thing as 1 over what? 1 over V. So if you look at it now, this is what we now obtain. What is the next thing now? We can now separate the variables from here. Can you see that? So how do you go about it? Let me take this one to come down here. Then if I separate the variables, what I will now have is... So this is exactly what I will have by the time you arrange the variables. So the next thing is for us to integrate both sides. So if you integrate both sides, if you integrate V dv, what you have is what? V square over what? Over 2. Then plus, if you integrate this one, what we have is what? You have is equals to ln x plus c. So from here, what is the next thing now is that we cannot stop a because we are not looking for v. What we are looking for is what is y. But remember that your y is equals to what vx. Then from here we know that our v is equals to what y over what y over x. So let me substitute this one back to this expression. Then this one will give me y squared over x squared. Then divided by two. Are we together? I only change my v here. 
then it's equals to ln x plus c so this one will definitely give me y squared over x squared is equals to 2 ln x plus c so this is the solution i'm talking about you will notice that here we've been able to obtain this using the method called homogeneous we call this one homogeneous and what is also pretty is that the secret is this when you look at your function fx comma y you know that you cannot separate the variables then you now begin to look at it that if i should replace this my y with v of x is it possible for the independent variable x to disappear and what is so special you substitute then you factorize you see that in this expression here there is no x a that is when we can use the method so you are welcome again so we want to solve this problem again what we are looking for is the solution y of x don't forget the steps the first step is i look at your f x comma y a you notice that term. you cannot separate the variables and at the same time you look at it very well you see that uh, if you replace y equals to v of x is it possible for me to remove the independent variable x so the first thing i will do now is that i will introduce my y is equals to v of x now you can see now what we obtain now is that in this case i've introduced v of x so the next thing is for me to now expand so i've expanded you can see what i'm having here now so if you look at this area you notice that um, i can factorize x squared to come outside and if I factorize x squared from x squared here, I factorize, you see that it will cancel. So which means that this expression here is the same thing as 2v plus 3v squared divided by 1 plus 2v. You can now see now that in this case now, there is no independent variable x here again. So next thing is for me to now record that term. Uh, don't forget that if I'm using y is equals to vx, do you know that this expression is still the same thing as um, dy dx is equals to v, you differentiate x, then plus x dv dx. What I've just done is that I keep this one, I differentiate this one. So you now see that this expression and this expression, I can equate them because both of them, they are dy dx, dy dx. So from here now, you cannot see now that um, instead of writing this, I can write say that v plus x dv dx is equals to 2v plus 3v squared then over 1 plus 2v what is the next thing is that this my v will go to the other side are we together then i cannot have my x dv dx then is equals to so what is the next thing now is that the lcm what is SM is 1 plus what's plus 2V. So 1 plus 2V divided by 1 plus 2V will give me 1. Then 1 multiplied by the numerator will give me 2V plus 3V squared. Then minus, uh, what about 1 plus 2V divided by 1 will give me 1 plus 2V. Then multiply by V. That will give me V into bracket 1 plus 2V. So the next is for us to now simplify. So I've simplified. That is what I will obtain. Then the next thing is that you see that X dV dx then is equals to if you take this one away from this are we together then at the same time you take this one away from this then you now obtain so this is what we obtain do you know the next thing now is for me to now separate the variables you see now that in this case it's not very possible to simplify to separate the variables of v and x so if you separate the variable what you now obtain is so upon doing that this is what you now obtain you now see now that um, there is dv here so after separating the variables now we now have everything here that has to do with v everything that has to do with x what is the next thing the next thing is we integrate but look at this very well for us to integrate this only that if we differentiate the denominator here what we have is 1 plus 2v so what does that mean it means that the answer to this one is what ln v plus v squared then is equal so if you integrate one of x you have what ln x plus what plus c but instead of writing c here i can write this one to be ln a so i can say my solution is v plus v square is equals to ln x plus what ln a so the next thing is for me to find the exponential of both sides that will now give me v plus v square is equals to what x a don't forget that i'm not looking for v what i'm looking for is what is y but remember that we said that our y is equals to what vx what does it mean by y is equals to v? it means that um, our v is equals to what y over x so you substitute back to the program will now give us y over x plus y squared over x squared is equals to what x a so this is the solution we are talking about so you can now simplify it any way you like but this is the solution we are talking about